Welcome once again to Lato's Law. Here's Steve Lato. A couple people sent me a story about police misconduct down south, and this is one of the most troubling stories I've ever seen. After release of video, lawsuit claims Alabama man froze to death in police custody. The man was in police custody, and he froze to death. Uh, the allegations in the lawsuit suggest that he was likely placed in the jail freezer. And there is evidence to support these allegations. I watched some video on the internet that's quite troubling. And so I'm here to tell you a story by CBS 42. Lee Hedgepeth and Carly Lang wrote it. The mother of the man, the victim here, uh, has filed a lawsuit. The man is from Walker County, Alabama. He died in police custody in January. And she's filed a federal lawsuit against multiple jail officials, including the sheriff, alleging that authorities deprived the man of his constitutional rights by leaving him in the jail's walk-in freezer or similar frigid environment for hours, causing his death. This is one of the most appalling cases of jail abuse the country has ever seen. The 37-page federal lawsuit starts. On the night of January 25th to January 26th, the man froze to death while incarcerated at the Walker County Jail. Now, we've heard of people going to jail and bad things happening there, but freezing to death doesn't sound like it would be one that would be likely. And so when someone gets brought out of there, taken to the hospital because they've frozen to death, you have to go, okay, that took some very, very unusual circumstances for that to happen. The case, lawyers for the family wrote in their lawsuit, raises an appalling question. How does a man literally freeze to death while incarcerated in a modern climate-controlled jail in the custody and care of corrections officers. The suit alleges that the man was likely placed in a restraint chair in the jail kitchen's walk-in freezer or a similar frigid environment and then left there for hours. Only with the release of an internal surveillance video recorded by a correctional officer did what happened to this man start to come to light. That's the man's lawyer speaking. The correctional officer was later fired by the sheriff's department, according to the lawyer. So it looks like the officer who brought this to light has been fired. And the timing of that would not look good. Surveillance video obtained and first reported by CBS 42 shows what the family says appears to be their loved one being carried into the loading area of the Walker County Jail. And that's a video that's online. I watched it. You can too. In it, he's limp. His head and feet are dangling as uniformed personnel lay his body just outside a marked police SUV. The people who are carrying him have the word sheriff on their vests. Uh, they lay his body just outside the SUV. And in total, there's four uniformed officials then work on putting him into the police vehicle because he can't get in on his own because he appears to be lifeless at this point. The video contradicts earlier statements from the Walker County Sheriff's Office claiming that the man was alert and conscious when he left the jail to be taken to a local hospital. And that's a problem because they apparently didn't think this video would see the light of day. The newly filed lawsuit also includes quotes from notes included in the victim's medical records written by a doctor at the emergency room after the man was transported to the local hospital the day he died. One of the notes says, I'm not sure what circumstances the patient was held in incarceration, but it is difficult to understand a rectal temperature of 72 degrees F or 22 centigrade while someone is incarcerated in jail. The doctor's note said, according to the federal lawsuit, the cause of his hypothermia is not clear. It is possible he had an underlying medical condition resulting in hypothermia. I do not know if he could have been exposed to a cold environment. I do believe that hypothermia was the ultimate cause of his death. So this is not the coroner or medical examiner speaking. It's simply an emergency room doctor who's baffled by what he sees. The man's brought in. They say, yeah, he came from the jail. He froze to death. Can you help him? Screenshots from additional surveillance video included in the lawsuit show the man was naked during his detention. 
He was placed, according to the suit, in a concrete isolation cell for the duration of his two-week stint in jail. The cell lacked a bed or other furnishings, according to the lawsuit. There was a drain in the floor that could be used as a toilet. The cell was bare cement and the equivalent of a dog kennel. But unlike a dog, he was not even given a mat to sleep on. Again, allegations from the lawsuit. At least five hours passed from the time that the man was removed from the frigid environment until he was taken to the hospital, according to the complaint. So the complaint is suggesting that the people at the jail realize there's a problem. Guy's non-responsive, and he's frozen to death. But if you bring his ice-cold cadaver into the hospital, they're going to know something's wrong. So it could be that they waited a few hours, hoping that his temperature would climb back up towards something more normal. Uh, The public information officer of the sheriff's office refused to comment on the video published by the TV station last week and instead referred all inquiries to the Alabama Law Enforcement Agency, which is investigating the death. Uh, They have not responded to questions about the video as of publication time. So the attorney for the family said last week, the family believes that all video of their loved one's uh, time in the sheriff's office and, and the jail should be released to the public. If the sheriff does not have anything to hide, then all the videos should be preserved and released to the public. He was obviously not alert and conscious when he left the Walker County Jail. So they have got that piece of video. And the man is brought through some doors into the loading dock area and placed on the ground while they're trying to get him into the back seat of this police vehicle. And that video, like I said, was probably leaked by somebody who I believe it looks like they got fired for doing that. So the man was 33 years old. He died on January 27th. And uh, his recent interactions with the law enforcement of Walker County began about two weeks earlier when family members asked police to conduct a welfare check on him, according to a statement from the Walker County Sheriff's Office released at the time. Law enforcement claimed that when they arrived on the scene, the man immediately brandished a weapon and fired a shot at the deputies before retreating into a wooded area behind his home. After searching for him, Using both air and canine units, he was eventually arrested and charged with attempted murder. Uh, Thankfully, the day ended with everyone safe. So they say they've got a great reason as to why they arrested him. And if those facts bear out, then they had a great reason to arrest him. But the question then is, how does it go from that to him freezing to death while in their custody? In addition to their initial written statement, the Walker County Sheriff's Office included an unedited full-body photo of the man whose face appeared to be spray-painted, spray-painted. One of the family members said that the photo was shocking to her. I hadn't seen him in two years, and that was the first time I'd seen him. And the last, the photo, which was shared hundreds of times across social media and in multiple news outlets, garnered significant public pushback by those criticizing the sensationalism of the post. According to Facebook records, the sheriff's office edited the post later that day, cropping the photo to exclude the man's face. Court records show the man was brought before a judge the day of his arrest, but was listed as being unable to sign paperwork by court officials. We knew he was in jail, his family members said, and we thought that was the safest place for him at the time, but it turned out to be the worst place for him. Officials with the Walker County Sheriff's Office did not initially respond to questions about the man's death, but after the TV station reported the story of the death to police Uh, the story of the death in police custody, the sheriff's office released a statement about the situation. Uh, And of course, as in most Alabama counties, the local jail is operated by the sheriff's office. Their statement says, on Thursday, January 27th, an inmate in the Walker County Jail was provided a routine medical check by jail medical staff. Medical staff determined the inmate needed to be transported to the hospital for further evaluation. The inmate was alert and conscious when he left the facility and arrived at the hospital. Shortly after arrival at the hospital, the inmate suffered a medical emergency and became unresponsive. Life-saving efforts were performed by hospital staff and the inmate was ultimately revived. Unfortunately, a short time later, the inmate passed away. 
Now, that would appear to contradict what the emergency doctors saw. It would also appear to contradict what the video showed that was leaked to the press. So the lawsuit's been filed. The man is dead. Uh, and we'll have to see what happens and how it plays out in court. And I think the lawyer who drafted the complaint is on to something when he suggests that that's what happened. Because when someone freezes to death inside of a building, you got to ask yourself, what is in the building where a person could theoretically have their entire body get that cold? And if they've got a walk-in freezer, well, how else do you explain it? So it'll be interesting to see what happens with the lawsuit filed in federal court. Um, if it goes to trial, things could get really, really ugly. Of course, it could settle. Many of these cases do, in fact, settle. Now, the good news is because it's a municipality, in essence, being sued, it's the government, uh, the sheriff's department, and so on, uh, settlements like this cannot be kept that private, meaning that if it does settle, we should hear about it. We should. But it is a terrible, terrible story in the sense of what happened to the man. And you would think that someone going to jail, you can imagine all of the things that might happen to them. The average person would not put freezing to death on that list. And there's a reason for that, because it's something that shouldn't happen to you while you're in custody and in jail. So as I have said before, mistakes were made. And, and I'm being kind because they're not mistakes. There were uh, severe, severe lapses in judgment for this to happen. So we'll see what happens uh, if the case settles or goes to trial. But it's a crazy story. Both Bruce and Brad sent it to me. Uh, CBS 42 and Lee Hedgepath and Carly Lang wrote that. After release of video, lawsuit claims Alabama man froze to death in police custody after being likely placed in a jail freezer. Questions or comments, put them below. Let's talk to you later. Bye bye. Thank you for watching Lato's Law. The only way to enjoy anything in this life is to earn it first.